Alright guys, we're on here for one more final time in this winter board series on how to create your own uh, custom themes for winter board. Okay? In the previous videos, I showed you how to get your own icons, and then I finished, or uh, followed up with the part two, on how to get your own dock, wallpaper, and lock background. Okay? So you should have all those good. And now I'm going to show you how to get your own sounds, and finally the SSHing process into your iPod Touch. Okay guys? So start out with getting the sounds, guys. I want you to create a whole new folder. Okay? So wherever you do that, as I mentioned, uh, a good way to do it is just simply go into My Documents. And then at the top up here, make a new folder. Alright, and it should automatically take you to a new folder down there. And I want you guys to name this uh, UI Sounds with a capital U I S. So U I S all capitalized, and then just sounds, which is a U I Sounds. Okay. So I want you to keep that, and you should be good. Okay. Or actually, I'm sorry guys, uh, what am I saying? Extract it out to your desktop, or um, just save it at your desktop. Okay. And what I want you to do now guys, is I have uh, posted a download for a program called Audacity. Um, in the description, this will help you for editing files and converting them to a certain uh, uh, file it needs to be. Okay, so download that right now, and then after you have that installed, save it to your desktop. Okay. In the meantime, what you guys can do is um, you can go and you can go to Google or any other search that you like to use and find a certain sound clip that you like to use and uh, download it or a certain, uh, you can just go actually, uh, the easy way what I like to do is go into iTunes and pick a part of your favorite song. So don't want people to do. But if you want a certain sound clip, just download it off of Google or iTunes if you want to use that. Okay. Hold on, let, me, let my iTunes load up here. One sec. Okay. Uh, what I want you to do is uh, once you find the song that you would like, guys, any song you want. Okay. There's there's not going to be any any editing done yet until you uh, uh I'm sorry, drag it into your Audacity program that I just gave you the download for in the description. Okay, but uh, I want you to highlight the song that you have, so just click it once, whatever song you want. And then what I want you to do, guys, is go into Edit. This is in iTunes, remember guys? Preferences. Okay, and you're going to see this. I want you to click on Import Settings. And then Import Using. I want you guys to select MP3. MP3 Encoder. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Okay, and now keeping the song highlighted, I want you to go up to um, Advanced, I'm sorry, and click on Create MP3 Version. Okay, guys? So let that convert. It should just appear on uh, the MP3 version right underneath your uh, current version. Take about 10 seconds, maybe longer, depending on how the length of the song. Okay, mine's just finishing up. All right. Once it finishes converting, I want you to uh, copy this. Okay, back out, out to your desktop. And paste it. Okay. So now you have an MP3 version of the iTunes song you just chose. Or um, what you guys would do if you just download a sound clip off of Google, is you would drag that sound clip, no matter what file it was, into the iTunes. And then you take the same steps and convert it to an MP3. Okay, guys? So you take that download you got off of Google and convert it into an MP3. Okay? And that goes for any sound that you have personally recorded. You just drag that sound file into iTunes, create to an MP3, save it to your desktop, and you'll be at the same stop as I am right now. Okay? Then what you're going to want to do, guys, is open up the Audacity program I gave you the download for. So let me open up mine. Sorry. Okay, um, it should look like this. Headphones. A little sound wave in between. Go ahead and open it up. Alright, uh, this is Audacity when it is plain looking. I'm just going to minimize mine a little bit. Not minimize it, but make the screen small. Okay. So there we go. 
And I want you to take that whatever file you have saved off of iTunes and drag it simply onto the screen and release. Okay, it's going to import the MP3 file. And the MP3 file was important because Audacity only works with uh, MP3 files or like AIFF, anything. It just doesn't work with the MP4 format, which is what iTunes supports. Okay, or WAV for that matter. It only works for the MP3 or other files. Okay, so it's always good to convert it to MP3. Okay, now uh, this is what the Audacity editing looks like here. So um, if you guys personally took something off Google, you're going to be good. You're just going to need to do one step, which I'm going to get to in a second. But if you did the process of taking a song, a complete song, and uh, converting it to an MP3 and dragging it in here, you're going to need to do some editing. Okay, guys? So uh, let me set up the song. Uh -huh. And get the part that you like. Uh, it's very important to memorize where that green arrow is. Okay, and then hit the stop button, so you know where it is. You're a good point. Okay, now uh, take your cursor. It should look like the cursor that you know you use to type with in the text. And uh, click it wherever that was. Okay, so you're going to have a straight line come down. You're going to get a little arrow, a little guy's hand. You're going to drag that hand to whatever direction you want to uh, delete from. It's going to highlight it gray. Okay, you're going to let go. Go up to edit. And then copy. I mean, I'm just, what did I do? Edit cut, sorry guys, so it's going to get rid of that into there, okay, mine's just a tad bit long, so I'm just going to get rid of it, there we go, I'm not really even paying attention to this, okay, but so I'm going to cut it again, and this is what I have, it's not a bad file, okay, anyways, okay, once you have your desired uh, sound clip that you want, okay, what you're going to do, is go into file. Right, I'm sorry, I think it's yeah, edit, edit, preferences. Sorry. Go to uh where is it? Look for it real quick. It's file formats, file formats and audacity preferences, file formats. And it'll say uncompressed export format and a little arrow. Click on it. I want you guys to select the C A F Apple 16 bit PCM. Select it and hit OK. Now you're going to go up to File and hit Export as CAF. Okay, Export as CAF. And uh, go ahead and save it to your desktops. Desktop. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Okay, it'll do that. Now you have uh, whatever you named your file, .caf. Okay, guys? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to name this whatever you have chosen uh, to replace. In order to find out what you want to replace it as, I want you to open up your SSH um, program, okay? Which is usually WinSCP or whatever the Mac users use. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to get this in time here. It's going to be close. Okay, and where I want you guys to go is, um, where am I going here? I want you to go into system, okay, so hit that back button until you reach system, library, audio, UI sounds, and here's all the available things you can do, such as lock, unlock, voicemail, sent mail, all that stuff, guys. Uh, the two most common are lock and unlock, and that's what I personally use, okay? Lock is when you lock it or unlock it, okay? So I want you to go back to your desktop here, okay, and uh, the file you just exported out of Audacity, go to rename, and whatever you chose to do, uh, I'm personally doing lock here, so hit lock, okay, I mean type in lock, that CAF, don't change the CAF part, enter, and okay. Now what I want you guys to do here is take this, whatever you named it, dot CAF, and drag it into that UI sounds folder, okay. Drag into that UI Sounds folder. So drag it in there. And then drag that UI Sounds folder into your theme folder that you created in the last few years. Okay? So now inside your theme folder, you should have your icons, the dock, lock background wallpaper, and UI Sounds. Okay? 